All right. This is a synthesizer. I mean, a literal synthesizer, as in it creates sound by manipulating the electricity. Now, there is a digital component to this, but rather than getting uh, too complicated or technical, we're just going to call it a, a straight synthesizer. So basically what happens here is the synth takes waveforms, and you see it has a selection of waveforms you can pick. And then it has a bunch of different things you can change on it. Oscillator, what oscillator do you want, and which waveform, and how loud, and other things. And then uh, VCF is the filter, how bright it is. The VCF EG, how do you want the uh, the filter, the brightness to change over time? VCA EG, how do you want the volume to change over time? And then MG is a modulator generator, um, also known as an LFO, if you like electronic music. How do you mess with the sound? And the rest of it is messing with the sound. So basically what you can do... So you call up a different set of patch, and I'm d doing this totally at random. A little whistle, or even something that's not normal. This is a, what's called a sample playback keyboard. And essentially what they did when they built the keyboard is they have a whole bunch of different recordings, digital audio files that they sampled. Remember, a sample is just a recording of a sound. So this particular sound is a superior grand. So it sounds like a grand. And you can call up different things, strings. And there's a variety of tricks they use to make it more or less um, realistic. But one thing you can do is layer the sounds. This is a patch called Jazz Scat. This is a group called Take Six. And they have several different s samples layered on each note. If you press it soft, you get a little harder. One more time. So you can do stuff like this. And you can have Take Six performing on your album for free. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Basically what MIDI is, is a language that allows keyboards and computers to talk to each other. So let's get our, this is our analog synth. So I've got a MIDI cable run from this keyboard up to that one, the analog synth. So what that allows me to do is to play the top keyboard from the bottom one. And you can tell, I don't know if you can tell here, the volume here is all the way down. You are hearing that keyboard, but I'm playing this. Okay, so that allows me to mix and match sounds. So I can add in the, what have I got here, electric piano. And you can have as many keyboards as you want, or layers of sounds, or anything like that. So it gives a lot of power. It's even more powerful when you get a computer into the mix. So what happens, you combine MIDI with a computer. And the computer, since it is very good at memorizing things, 
can tell the keyboard what notes to play. For example, here. So what's happening is the computer is telling the keyboard what notes to play, and the keyboard is set to use these drum sounds. So the problem is, that was a sloppy playing. So what I can do is tell the computer, oh, let's make it perfect. And it shifts stuff notes around. So now it's tightly locked to the beat, which I may or may not want. depends on how human I want. And then I can just keep adding tracks, which I'm going to do, and um, come up with a full thing a full piece of music and nothing's actually been recorded. It's just the computer telling the keyboards what notes to play. So here's what happens when you combine the computer with synthesis. You can see you got the speakers there and what I've got here is a what's called a soft synth. So what's happening here is the computer is calculating what the sound will sound like in real time. And then I have it set up so that the keyboard, using MIDI, the keyboard's talking to the computer, using MIDI, so command goes from the keyboard to the computer, hey, play this note. Computer calculates what it will sound like using a software synthesizer, and then it then it creates the sound. Using MIDI also allows me to uh, edit the notes that I played. For example, here I played a couple of extra notes so I can just delete them. Boom, and it's gone. And you can see right there, boom, it's gone. So it's MIDI allows me to use treat music like word processing. And then so you get to the final mix for our little cheesy song here. I'm going to start it looping. Uh, we start with the drums, and that's created by the sample keyboard, and then we'll mix in the bass, let's set a level, alright, and then add in the organ, alright, and then the first soft set, now this is being done, created by the computer, that integrated MIDI and synthesis, analog and sampling, and um, there you go. That's music.